In this one, let's take a look at finding parabolas from three points. So the first points are 0, 0, 2, negative 4, negative 2, 8. We're going to write y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We need to find a, b, and c. So the first stage is to identify. So this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y, this is x, and this is y. And then you make replacements. So first stick in y equals 0 into that position. And then you replace each x that you see with 0. I'm using the first point. So I'm using this point here, right here, 0, comma, 0. Remember, this is your y and this is your x. So you put 0 equals y on that side. And then on the right side, you write a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. From this equation, you can conclude immediately that 0 equals c. All of these terms here vanish because you're multiplying by 0. Then at the next stage, you're going to use the next point. So that next point will look like this. Take a look. It's going to be 2 comma negative 4. And again, remember, this is your x and this is your y. So you plug them into that basic model. So you get the following here. Take a look. It will say negative 4 equals a times 2 squared plus b times 2. And remember that from the equation above right here, we see that c equals 0. So you put plus 0 here. You don't even need to really put that. Then you simplify this. You're going to have negative 4 equals 2 squared is 4. So it ends up being 4a. And then this ends up being b times 2, which is 2b. And once this is in place, you also need to do this for the last one. Take a look. You need to use this point negative 2 comma negative 8. So when I work that out here, again, I'm going to put negative 8. That's my value of y. Remember, this is y, this is x. And on the right side, I'm going to put a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2. And again, the value of c is known to be 0, so don't worry about it. Simplify this equation a little bit. So you're going to have negative 8 equals here 4a minus 2b. And now what you can do is this. Take a look. You can take this equation right here that I'm drawing the arrow to, and this equation right here, and you can put them together into a system, because the goal is to find a and b. So when I do that, I'm going to do it over here. Negative 4 equals 4a plus 2b. And then under it, I'm going to put negative 8 equals 4a minus 2b. At this point, just add up the equations. And I know that I should do that, because the b's will cancel when I do that. So negative 4 plus negative 8 is negative 12. 4a plus 4a is 8a. The 2b positive plus the 2b negative is 0. That goes away. Therefore, I can say the following, that at this point, I will have you divide both sides by 8 over here. That's going to give you this, negative 12 eighths as the value of a. In mathematics, of course, we always simplify. So you can do this as follows. You can cancel off a common factor of 4. So 12 divided by 4 will leave 3. And then 8 divided by 4 here will leave 2. So you end up with negative 3 halves as the value of a. Once you know that that is the value of a, the next goal is to find the value of b. So when I do that, you can, for example, use this equation right here. So this equation has now two arrows pointing to it, where it says negative 4 equals 4a plus 2b. You can use that same equation to find the value of b. Let's carry that out on the side. I'm going to have negative 4 equals 4 times the value of a. Remember, the value of a is found to be negative 3 halves. So you replace that in the negative 3 halves. And then you're going to put here a plus 2b. Again, I'm using this equation. Let me emphasize this point because there are a lot of them at this point floating around this one right here. And now you simplify. So this is now negative 4 equals. You can simplify again. You can divide the 2 from the bottom. 4 divided by 2 will leave a 2 up top. So it gives you negative 4 equals 2 times negative 3 plus 2b. Then continue. Negative 4 equals here negative 6 plus 2b. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Add 6 to both sides. When you carry that out, it's going to give you here that negative 4 plus 6 is 2. On the right side, you will have 2b. Lastly, you divide both sides by 2, and therefore, b has the value 1. With all of those pieces of information found, now you can simply say that the final equation is y equals. You place a with the value found, which is negative 3 halves. You put the x squared. You add to it b, the value of b is 1, and multiply by x. And remember that in our case, at the very beginning of the video, we found right here at this point, where is that? Right here, you see c was equal to 0. You don't have to attach that. So you're using c equals 0, you're using a equals negative 3 halves, and you're using 1 equals b to put those pieces together. So that there is a, that there is b, and the c is 0, so don't even write it. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and I'll check you out in another video.